Hello my friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Jordan and I am currently towards the end of my pregnancy with baby number two. And in this video, I just wanted to share with you how I am meal prepping this time around. Meal prepping is such a vital way to be ready for that postpartum period. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. For the bulk of my meal prepping this time around, I just wanted to keep it really super simple. So everything I mentioned in this video will be cooked in my Instant Pot. I have a total of four recipes. I made three like batches of each recipe and I'm pretty sure each um, recipe will stretch for two to three dinners. And so that gives us 24 or more meals for our postpartum period, all of which will be cooked fresh in the Instant Pot. So like I mentioned, I chose four different recipes to give us a little bit of variety and I put each one on a different recipe card. So we have wild rice soup, split pea soup, lentil soup, and barley soup. And I know they're all soup. Soup is one of my favorite things and it's also one of the most like nourishing foods you can be eating in that postpartum period. It's really important to eat like really warm things to help keep your digestion going. Um, also the extra like fluids that are in soup are really good. So no, we aren't gonna like eat 24 to 30 days of soup in a row, but these are all really great things to work in um, and all really nourishing for like that postpartum period. I will use wild rice soup as an example. I wanted this to be really simple, whether I am putting it together or whether my husband is throwing it in the instant pot for us, or even if my mom or dad comes over and wants to help get a meal in the pot for us, I just really wanted this to be like really super simple. So for wild rice soup, it says six cups of broth and one can of coconut milk, one small bag and one large bag. So the large bags are going to be in the freezer. That is all of the like, freshly cut stuff, um, that's the onions and carrots and celery and potatoes, anything that might be in the soup that's like a fresh ingredient that we cut up and put in the freezer is in the large bag. And there's three large bags labeled wild rice soup. And then the small Ziploc bag has the dry ingredients. So for this wild rice soup, that would be the rice and all of the spices that will go into it. So really when, um, Whoever it is is getting the meal ready. You just have to pull out the labeled large freezer bag, the labeled small pantry bag, and then any associated like cans or whatever, um, all of which are in the pantry in the separate location. And then they're labeled on the top like wild rice soup or whichever recipe they are going to belong to. So for this specific one, after like those four ingredients, the broth will also be in the pantry. We always have lots of broth on hand. The instructions are really super simple. It says add both bags and broth to the Instant Pot, high pressure for 25 minutes, naturally release for 10 minutes, release the rest of the way and remove the lid and then remove the bay leaf. And so the bay leaf is one of the like spices that'll be in the small pantry at Ziploc bag. Um, so just to like find and remove that and then stir in the can of coconut milk at the very end. So that is, that's it for that recipe. Super duper simple and it looks really, really good. I cannot wait to try this one. For each of the other recipes, it is really the same formula. I have listed at the top the associated like cans that would be labeled in the pantry, as well as um, uh, the amount of broth that the Instant Pot would need. And then for each recipe, there is a freezer bag that's a big Ziploc bag, a pantry bag, which is the small Ziploc bag with all of the dry ingredients, and then a short explanation of like the cook time on the Instant Pot and if anything needs to be like added or removed at the very end. But that is really it. I kept it like really simple this time. Um, you can always expand upon this idea and be even more ready and do stuff that's not just soup um, and have even more recipes or make an even higher quantity of each recipe. This is really like the bulk and the jumping off point for my meal prepping this time. And like I mentioned, I do have some stuff that's already cooked and ready to go in my freezer. And I plan on continuing to just like slowly add to that if space allows um, until the very end. But I am super excited about this little system, mostly because I remember how much of a zombie I was at the very beginning after having our first baby. And so it'll be super, super handy to have something easy for whoever it is that is putting dinner together. So if you like the sound of this and you're going to try it yourself, I encourage you to grab a friend or family member or loved one who is looking to help support you in your pregnancy or your postpartum period. Um, my mom helped me with all of the chopping for 
for our whole meal prep day and she just helped chop up all of the fresh stuff for like the whole day with me and we really had fun doing that so thank you so much mom and I encourage you to find someone to help you do this whether it's your partner or anyone else because it really does lighten the load but I think that is it for this video so thank you so much for watching make sure and hit the thumbs up button subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys next week with another video bye guys